I'll show you how you can save a lot of time in Obsidian with a simple AI magic trick. If you take a lot of notes in Obsidian, you probably spent quite some time formatting them too. And that is frankly just busy work that slows you down as it distracts you and forces you into spending energy that could be better spent. Energy spent working on the actual substance of your notes, not the formatting or visual presentation. You could simply choose not to format your notes, but that's a problem in its own. It can make some notes challenging to grasp and you might just get lost in them um, eventually. But there is an easy solution to avoid having messy, unstructured and hardly usable notes. And that's with this simple trick that I will show you now. It uses the AI templates feature of our Obsidian plugin called Note Companion. And it makes the notes visually pleasing, well structured and easier to explore and understand while working with them and when exploring them further again down the line. I'll show you how you can get from this here on the left to something like this on the right in a single click. So you can see here on the left, I took some notes very roughly. I just wrote what was on my mind without really caring about the formatting or the titles or anything like that. And on the right side, I just clicked on the enhance button that I have and it's perfectly, I mean, not perfectly, but it is nicely organized and much easier to navigate and understand what's happening here. And if I scroll all the way down here, I can see that it even added a summary mentioning what it's all about. Okay, so here's how this works. If you have the Note Companion plugin in Obsidian, you'll see this little icon. And if you click on it, it opens what we call the organizer. Here you have a bunch of options, but the one that we're going to look at right now is this one, the AI templates. And here um, there's the list of all the templates that I defined. What are templates? They're basically just prompts that you would give to the AI chat. So, let me show you the prompt that it's used for making this document, enhancing this document. I created one here called enhanced, enhanced or enhanced in the British uh, accent. And it has a bunch of instructions on how to format. And that's how I got to my result of getting this note right here. But it didn't start being so, so concise. So let me show you the entire process I went through. So I first started with a very basic note. So I created a new note here and then I added, okay, let's, let's redo. I added basically this. I started with this, which already gave me very good results. I just said format my content into a well-structured note. As a result, I was okay, but it can be better. How can it be better? I can, instead of doing the thinking, I can just use the um, chat that's included in Note Companion, and I can ask, um, how can I improve this prompt meant to format my notes and then I said it's, it should be general. Okay, and then I entered. Okay, here if clear and so it didn't get that I wanted instructions. They improved the prompts. Okay, now it's doing it. So I'll, I just copied basically what I had here. I copied it here and I pasted it 
in my file. The result is a bit different because my what I, the prompt I asked was a bit different. So that's why we're getting different results. For example, here it added a summary section, but that's just to show you the process. You don't need to think about everything. You can start with an idea and then use the chat to um, get your idea further. The next step I did actually, I'm quickly gonna show you this. So let's, let me delete this one. Uh, what I did is this. So I realized, let's open this note again. Let's put this here. I realized that there was some structure in this new formatted document, but it was not structured enough. It was not consistent. So for example, here I have features, socials, video, social, it's like not consistent. So my idea was, okay, actually I need this to be more consistent. So I created another template specifically for my roadmaps, my roadmaps and the roadmaps I will, yeah, I will have in the future. And it's, I just copied the entire template and I added each week should have four main categories, features, videos, user engagement. Oh, there's even a typo here. User engagement and social media. And then I also added a couple more things. I said always include all four if info is missing at TBD and keep the three months plan, the initial plan that I put in the beginning. So, okay, let's get back to the notes. Um, I'm gonna select this one. So this is the base. So you can see how it goes from this on the left to straight away to the last, um, the best version that we're gonna have. And the AI already recognizes here that this is a roadmap. So it pre-selects the um, template and then I just need to apply. I could replace the entire thing straight away, but for the sake of showing you, I'm gonna create a new file so we can see all three side by side. So now I click apply. And you can see now that it's generating the entire thing following the exact structure that I asked it. And it is filling in, it is filling in um, TBD, the points that I still need to work on. So this is super useful for me. It creates so much more structure and helps me focus in the areas where I need to focus my project, not having to format the whole thing and finding out uh, what it's lacking here. It's very clear. Boom, boom, TBD. That's what I need to find out. This is what I need to be working on. Let's just quick, just do it like this. Let's do it. Where is it? Open to the right. So here you, cl you clearly see the, uh, I still know. Okay, so I'm, I'm not managing to do it. But basically, yeah, we went from this, which is clearly not structure, hard to understand, to this, already quite good, but was missing some structure, but this made me realize that it could be, really be well-structured. So I improved my template, and now I have this template that I'm happy about that helps me work better. And it's gonna help me um, anytime I have to do a roadmap, it's gonna be there for me to apply. Now, just let me show you two more examples so that you can see how well it works. So for example, I have this note here. If it wants to open, I don't know what's happening. This note, again, very rough, very disorganized. The ideas are there, but they're not structured and it would take me a lot of time to make it um, digestible. So what I do, of course, is I go here, I select my enhanced template, I just apply it. And as you can see here, it is very well formatted in a way that anyone, not only me, can read and um, much faster. Like, people can digest it much, 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 much faster. And there you go. That's only one of the use cases for using the AI templates feature of the Node Companion plugin in Obsidian. 
but there's so many other possibilities since the templates are essentially just chat GPT prompt. From now on, I will release one use case of AI templates each week for the community to better understand the feature. If you have any suggestions or idea about a template that you'd want me to show you next, let me know in the comments. And if not, well, thanks for watching and until next time.